In this problem, we're being asked to find the sine, the cosine, and the tangent of an angle, angle x here, in a triangle, in a right triangle. And um, we're not given any numbers. So we just have variables here for the side lengths, a, b, and c. Well, this shouldn't be any more difficult than finding a ratio if you have numbers here. We're just going to make fractions where we put let a letter over a letter. Remember, when we find the sine, the cosine, and the tangent, uh, we can remember how to set up our ratios with SOHCAHTOA. So means that the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Ka means the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And TOA means that the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. The only trick then is to figure out what's the adjacent, what's the opposite. Hopefully the hypotenuse is not too hard for you. Um, you know, the opposite and the adjacent change depending on your perspective, which angle you're looking at uh, or, or looking from in your triangle. We're at angle X. So the hypotenuse is the hypotenuse. That's the longest side in a right triangle. So this is our, our, our hypotenuse. I'm just going to put H there to label it. Which one is the adjacent and which one is the opposite, though, from the perspective of angle X? Well, the opposite angle is always the one that's farthest across. So in this case, it's B. So that's our opposite. Our adjacent is the one that touches angle X but isn't the hypotenuse. So this is our adjacent. Now I think we're ready to set up these ratios. So sine first, the sine of X, is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the opposite is B, and the hypotenuse is A. So that's the sine of X. How about the cosine of X? So that is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Well, the adjacent is C, so this is C over A. And then finally, the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. The opposite is B, and the adjacent is C. So the tangent of X would be B over C. So that's a little bit of work with sine, cosine, and tangent ratios.